Jimmy, thanks for coming out, man. I know it was a long trip over from the States. You've been here for a while, so I was happy that you can come out and, and join us. Well, I appreciate it and appreciate the merch. <laughs> yeah, and Japan Treasure Hunters. Um, uh, it's yeah. on Etsy, so, you know, link in the bottom. But what do you got here? Extreme Scoops guy, John Bullock out of Houston, Texas, makes these. My opinion, best scoop on the market. He gives a 10 year warranty on his scoop, 10 year warranty on his carbon fiber handles. And the handles have foam in them. So when you're in the, in the surf and the wave pushes it over, it comes right back to upright. But I noticed when we went to the beach, of dreams and you were digging you had one of those little scoop handles yeah. and i figured for taking me out and giving me the opportunities to hunt things i've never been able to hunt in my life i want to give this to you no way man no yeah. way oh thank you man i appreciate it very much i i yeah i could have probably upgraded mine but man here elbow man because you know we can't do the <laughs> handshake thing anymore so i will link this to the bottom please check out john's uh site and uh see, see what you can find out man Jimmy, again, thanks for coming out. It was a blast having you. I know, like today was a little rough, but it that's was. What it is. But like I said, never have I found, you know, anything older than the 1900s. And I'm finding coins. We found coins that were 900s and 1800s and 1600s, and then to find like the Yatati inkwell. Yep. I mean, that's something I'll never be able to experience any other place so you me getting with you when i knew i come out and actually you taking me out man it's, yeah. it's been an amazing experience well it's been great for us too man i appreciate you having coming out and enjoying it so i guess when when i'm in the states man i'll look you up sounds good all right all right thank one you one more man all right you're saying you can't see the forest for the trees that is that is exactly what i'm saying japan contains forgotten history Japan Treasure Hunters is on the path to find it. On this episode of Japan Treasure Hunters, the team hikes more than five and a half kilometers through mountain trails on what is Jimmy's last shot at the path to forgotten history. However, his journey doesn't have to end here. Watch this video all the way to the end and click on one of the three links to keep the adventure going. That's probably the steepest one we went to. Wait. Sweet. Let's do this. I was gonna say, maybe I should have waited till I got to the top of the ridge there and seen how it is from there. It won't be too bad on the way down. It isn't. Of course, we're only like a quarter of the way. Due to the treacherous incline and the wet ground, the team decided to try another trail that was close by. Yeah, let's, let's go to the shrine. We'll, we'll walk up that way. which is dropped right down from that rock. So, damn it, we sh should have looked down there better. <sighs> All right, we're ready for the... Yep. Sure, now that you got it off. Well, at least up to here anyway. <sighs> Yay. Looks like they did some work up here. Joke. Spike. Spike. Or some sort of bolt type thing. Probably for one of these uh, steps. Or an older set of these steps. But that's what I was beeping off point in the afternoon, the team has hiked for two hours. This is a trail that was used between Masukarayama and Katakuriyama. Ah, trash. A little piece of wire. Ah. Finally pulled it up. 
I was chasing that for a while too. A little piece of junk. Huh? <laughs> no, no, no. It's literally right up here. Where in the States can you do that? Some Native American sites. <laughs> okay. I can watch your YouTube video. Yeah, not, that's it. Yeah, it's just over this one. John consistently finds more coins and stuff than I do, but when I find something good, it's it's big. Is it some junk or mail or wire? Just wired up today. Run through detect a little bit. <laughs> The team finally arrives at the detecting location over 450 meters high. Katakuri used to be a limestone quarry. Unfortunately, the Edo era buildings were removed with all the limestone. Clay encrusted. Oh. There's more down there. This is cool, Robert. You got a good find. You know what this is? You know what these are for? Popping into the... Yeah. These are, these are spikes that they put in the rock. Nice. Yeah. There's more here too. Wow. Oh, Robert found a stash. All right. Nice find already, man. We can count that as the first find of the day. Well, you don't want to count that pull tab we walked past no. on the way up? Yeah, that, yeah, that's just the starting of the day. <laughs> found my physical limits, found a limit of my patience. <laughs> found all of them. Pin marking it. As I go. Lost. Somebody dropped a bag full of those things. <laughs> well, I was going to go that way. Don't uh, don't go past this sign. <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking it's probably a pool tab. Nah, it's it's foil. If I can get the leaf out of it, it's foil. A good pull tab tone. A good pull tab tone. It's a pull tab. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a piece of wire. Unfortunately, when the limestone was removed, so was all the artifacts and relics, except for the pull tabs and wire. So the team decides it's time to head out and start detecting on the way down. Well, finally kind of sticking in the 60s and 70s, and that's usually a coin. Pull tab. <laughs> Probably part of a pull tab. That's part of a pull tab. Good call. Who said pull tab? I did. <laughs> Good call. Wire. And Robert continues to fire, find wire. Sorry. Yeah. Got a good feeling for the trail on the way down. That's good. So we're gonna, uh, you know what it is? Getting too near to that. Coke can. Old Coke can. Seriously. Nice little flat spot right there. That's what I was thinking is. Yep, looks like I found myself a, another piece of a broken pipe. Nice, finally getting some stuff on the board here. Unfortunately, we're on the way out. Looks like they did a little, little work on this one. Whoa, oh, found, found something for real this time. Well, whatever it is, I broke it. 
slide. He's ringing up low silver. Like a brooch or something. Nice, nice. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Japan Treasure Hunters. Though the day proved to be less than exciting with the lack of finds, the true treasure was enjoying nature and the friendship that we've made. Jimmy's adventure on Japan Treasure Hunters may be over for now, but click on one of these links to relive the moments on his path to forgotten history.